Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here. Welcome to, I guess, what is a throwback Thursday. Um, depending on the age of this meal, it's probably... Well, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, this is an American MRE. Menu number 12, veggie burger with barbecue sauce. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, 668 grams or uh, one pound, seven and one half ounces. So this menu ran as menu number 12 um, from 2004 to 2010, so only six years. Um, and if I remember correctly, yes, uh, the previous owner did scribble on it. So, uh, and I did not do that, but uh, I don't know why it says 2004 to 2007. I did check MREinfo.com, um, so it was 2004, 2010, uh, and this one is. Uh, 356264 so 264th day of 2006 guessing um, I'm kind of fearful of this one because it's got a lot of I don't know if you can hear that on the it sounds like a lot of loose powder in there which scares me um, anyway um it does have a peeled seal, which I suppose I should try. Uh, I've seen a few reviews on this recently that... Uh, well, we won't really get into it, but uh, they attribute some... They attribute some... I don't know what the word is. Uh, it's really early. <sighs> Anyway, um, some, I'll just put it in there, and considering the age of the menu, uh, this was long before, and it smells like nothing, that's positive I guess, um, that sort of thing was popular, so uh, it was just an attempt to bring a vegetarian menu forward to try to make it palatable to the troops. Um, it had nothing to do with what's been brought up. So anyway, nothing there. Getting that noise. I don't know what the heck is going on there? Uh, it is Maraqual. Oh, it is open. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. The inner bag is open. We have our main, which is our vegetable patty and barbecue sauce. 243rd day of 2006. Uh, five gram patty. And we have TVP as our first thing. Uh, barbecue sauce all the way down there. All right, fair enough. We have a chocolate banana nut muffin top. Data sticks. Coolio. Uh, one ounce, 28 grams. Miracle packaging, Evansville, Indiana. Um, yeah, we have these up here. Uh, they are not called potato sticks. They are called uh, whatever's up here. Because, again, my brain is just not working. It is so early. It's my day off. Uh, wheat snack bread times one. I thought there was two because you made a burger. Uh, osmotic raisins, 43 grams, one and a half ounces, by Ameriqual. Hmm, everything is just like Ameriqual. All right, our accessory package. Take a look at that. Our, yep, second wheat snack bread, 
242nd day of 2006. That's kind of beaten up, isn't it? Okay, well, there's the source of all our noise. Uh, it would be great, wouldn't it? Uh, 24 grams, 0.85 ounces. Natural and artificial flavors. Uh, I'm curious to see if this is 2006, it's 17 years old, uh, if this is the blue one or the purple one. Spoon! I got that even this early in the morning. Our heater. Uh, I don't have high hopes for that, but let's see if it works. And a hot beverage bag. Nice. All she wrote. And we'll move on to our accessories. Bottle of Tabasco. Nice, because it's mostly all there. We have, oh, iced tea drink, lemon flavored. 16 grams or 0.56 ounces. Nutritional beets, and you mix it with a quarter canteen cup or six ounces of water. Moist towelette, which is apparently still moist. Iodized salt, which will be going into our FRH to try to kick that sucker alive. White tip matches by, oddly enough, Dee Dee Bean and Son. Big surprise there. Uh, some bum fluff and some. I think the white one is our peppermint gum. And this is. Da. Uh, 256th day of. Maybe. 256th day of 2006. Zero th 31 hours. <clears throat> anyway, that are the contents. Those are the contents. That is the contents. Ugh, I need coffee. Ugh. Anyway, do that. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So that is actually done a heck of a job. Uh, I dumped, what was it, four ounces of salt into that, or four, four grams, pardon me, four grams of salt into that. Uh, it did take off, so Larry's been doing his job over there. Uh, we have, uh, I had some boiling water um, for the lack of hot drinks. <laughs> And I put the boiling water in there. Uh, I've since drained it, but I, I warmed the buns up just so they're a little more pliable. Um, we'll go with our grape beverage, which is 12 ounces of water, or half a canteen cup. 
and that's what she looks like after oh yeah that's a little sour um, 17 years Oh, that takes a long time to pour that out. And seeing as how we're using our American MRE, we might as well go with our American Mess Tin. Uh, yeah. And it's... Uh, oof. the blue one and then we've got our lemon iced tea drink lemon flavored uh, one quarter of a canteen cup or six ounces of water which we have over there it's a little clumpy, but I don't know if it's. It seems like it's not solidified, so perhaps if I actually tear it open, that'll help. Nope, she looks pretty good. It smells like good hosts or nesty or what have you, maybe Lipton in the States. I'm not sure what you guys have for iced tea brands. But uh, that's probably, yeah, it's got a lot of sugar. It's not dissolving. And we'll probably give that a chance to dissolve while we go over everything else and uh, we'll give it a stir later. So, for our sides, we have our potato sticks, or hickory sticks, which I could not think of in the life of me. Uh, during the pause in filming, I did actually manage to ingest a, a good strong cup of black rifle coffee, so I'm back. Um, additional facts, which we already went over. Those look pretty good. They smell stale as... and possibly rancid. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, but that is an ounce, and it's, that's not a bad, bad serving for an ounce. We have our osmotic raisins. Of course, the tear notch is down where everything is, because why not? Oh, those are ugh, sticky. They smell like raisins, but wow, kind of some stuck in there. There's a couple left, but those are, as you can tell, just about greasy, like a dried prune is like they're just they're moist kind of soft a little sticky and again 17 years old so eek um, even though we've got iced tea over this now let's uh, let's go about building up our burger um, yeah so, go with our wheat snack breads. Okay, apparently not that part of the wheat snack bread that just made a break for the floor. We have our do not. Let's see if that one comes out. Oh, that one's intact at least. And again, we have our little G. Schultz. Do it the other way around. 
Yeah. Thanks, Larry. Pretty warm. Hot to the touch. Still a little angry. Um, pull one under there. Do it in front of the camera. And then promptly hope we don't get salty iron oxide, whatever powder, water. All over everything. And we have our tear notch. Which is really fun to try to tear with wet fingers. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, that's delaminating. Neither of these is working very well. So we'll just get out the old Ulfa touch knife and. Ah, it's all things the other way here. All right. We're in, boys and girls. And that is what uh, 17 year old textural, textured vegetable protein looks like. In barbecue sauce. So let's uh, make a hell of a mess by doing this because that's just going to go everywhere. Get our patty on the bun. Drip as much extra sauce as we can just to make it disgustingly messy. Uh, it's not bad. There's not a lot of separation on the sauce. So it's still kind of thick. It smells good. Um, mind the fingers. That tastes like metal. Um, <laughs> again, it's been sitting in a foil, foil, foil pouch. That coffee is not helping as much as I thought it did. Foil pouch for 17 years, but uh, yeah, she looks palatable. Maybe not the smartest way to do that. Let's take a big old bite of that. Cheers. That's actually, it's not bad. Like, is it a hamburger? No, it's not, but I mean, the barbecue sauce is definitely doing its thing. For a TVP, that's not a bad <clears throat> it's not a bad meat imitation at all, really. Um, um, no, I don't routinely eat uh, meat substitutes. Uh, I just prefer a little ground round. Um, toss that sucker on the barbie and um, mustard pickles, cheese, onions, um, ketchup, you know, some of the burgers these days they have that go too fancy dancy with bacon and crispy fried onions and like you got, you got crap stacked up to here on your burger and it's just pretty much a riot in your mouth of flavor so what's, what's the point in ordering a burger if it doesn't even taste like beef? 
and I don't add anything. I just patty, salt it, let it sit, and then and then fry it. And that's anyway. That's how I do it. But whatever. Uh, these, yeah, they smell pretty rancid. Maybe I should have tasted these before I decided to throw barbecue sauce in my mouth. Nope. <coughs> that, nope. 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 Those are completely rancid. That's awesome. Ah. Nope. I'm not sure what flavor that is, but... Super soft, squishy, some crystallized sugar in them, but they have a very odd, odd flavor for a raisin. Um, blue grape drink. It's an artificial grape flavor, though I think that did say natural grape flavors as well. It's not super tart like some of them the later ones that have more citric acid in them. It seems not bad. Uh, lemon iced tea. That's a standard iced tea. Not too sweet. Kind of sour. It's more the way I like it. Uh, though I am an unsweetened tea kind of guy, not a sweet tea kind of guy. Don't judge me for that, South. I know the routine. I know the rules. It's just not my thing. Um, yeah, even though, and I'm, ugh, let me try to make super mess of this, um, ugh, which is probably going to fail miserably, but hey, welcome to one of my videos. Um, so I did some digging, um, through my, um, tote of stuff, I guess is the best way to put that. Uh, I got some cheese spread. Uh, it's one and a half ounces, so this is an older pack. Um, but I was kind of worried that, uh, excuse me, this wasn't going to go so hot. So I dug out some cheese spread, uh, some Canadian uh, IMP ketchup. Uh, I don't even know where that came from, Smitty. Maybe you can help me with that. I think it was in your bag of goodies. Uh, 8, 248, so 2018, 2008. I, I don't even know what this was from. Uh, it does give the ingredients. Uh, it has a tear line, which is really stupid, because why would you tear a package of mu mustard like that? Uh, but this is Diamond Crystal Brands of Savannah, Georgia. So I'm assuming this may have been from an Emory Star, maybe? Um, and I thought, oh yeah, uh, just so I don't open the bottle of Tabasco, I did grab a squeeze pack of Tabasco. Um, so, that's, uh, oh, that's watery, but whatever. Kind of separated mustard. Mm, um, I'm sure that looks really appetizing on camera. Mm, mustard's pretty vinegary, actually, but... dark ketchup. Wings Food Products in Toronto. Oh, the Wings Food makes... Um, I've seen uh, soy sauce in Chinese restaurants. That's Wings Food. So whether they're a condiment company or... Oh my. I'm not sure how old this friggin' cheese bread... Or cheese spread is, but it's clearly separated. Um, hang on. Mm, that's kind of gross, but we have committed. So, we got a little Tabasco sows on there. And that's just spraying everywhere, and that's perfect. Uh, 
Yep, that's a dumpster fire right there, but uh, let's try the improved veggie burger, so, so to speak. Cheers. that is um yeah you know what that's get a little chow hound that keeps all his little packets and stuff maybe in a ziploc throws it on top of his rucksack and then uh yeah next thing you know you're the friggin condiment king from batman um just spraying everybody with ketchup and mayo But with everything on top of that, honestly, that, despite the separated cheese, that pretty much tastes like a proper burger. Um, I got no complaints on that, honestly. That's, no. This, again, it's 17 years old. Uh, it's okay. I mean, it, it may it obviously wasn't the thing if it only lasted six years, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, clean this up. Be right back. We're back. <clears throat> Peppermint gum. A little soft. It's not bad. Um, yeah, so. Bum fluff. We got leftovers. Let me balance this. And there's a lot of packaging here, right? FRH is in there. Like I said, you get two wheat snack bread and everything else. I think that's it. Oh, wait, hold on. It's only me. Forgot dessert. Chocolate banana nut muffin top. That is not, not chance fat free. Not, not double negative, therefore implying it is trans fat free. Uh, 234th day of 2006. We'll just take a look at what this sucker's like. Um, it's flat as a board. And a bit messy. It smells okay. Super crumbly. And seeing as how I'm gnawing on peppermint gum, I have no real desire to um, throw that in my mouth. In the interest of science, though, 237 grams and crumbs everywhere, or uh, 8.3 ounces of garbage. Um, so, yeah, that is our 2006 menu number 12, veggie burger with barbecue sows. And, uh, it's actually pretty good. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know if I'd be super thrilled with that in the field, but not bad. I'm Bourbon Street Joe, chewing gum, and I'm out.